Well, hello and welcome to this trick uh, revision exercise on factor formula uh, in which we also have sets of radicals and additional uh, A-level type uh, uh, question. And it says um, simplify uh, sine 30 plus sine 60 degree divided by cos 30 minus cos uh, uh, 60, 60 degrees. Now, to do this, you need to have or to remember your uh, uh, factor formula. And there are four of those there. Factor formula, that is. But for this exercise, for the numerator, this one here, we're going to use the first uh, factor formula for the numerator. Again, when it says the difference, or half the difference there, uh, you're looking at the first one minus the second number there. So you should expect negative values at some stage. Okay, now moving on from that, we then have for the numerator, we have um, 30 at 60, and you have that, you get 45 degrees. You got well, twice that. And for, for you have 30 minus 6 will give us minus 30. You have, you have minus 30, and you get minus 15. And the cost of minus 15 is, same as, is, is the same as minus cost 15. Now, for the denominator, we use this factor formula there. So now we end up with um, the sum of 30 and 60 halved, which equals 45 degrees. And you get 30 minus 60 give us uh, minus 30. And if you have, if we half minus 30, you get minus 15. So now the two sign 45s in the numerator and denominator will cancel out. So we then end up with cos 50, sorry, end up with minus cos 15 divided by minus sine 15, which is same as saying uh, cos 15 divided by sine 15, and the answer is uh, cot 15 degrees. Now that's the first one. Now the second one says find the exact value of sine 30 plus sine 60 divided by cos 30 minus cos 60, and I think this is this is. Um, is supposed to use this to confirm this result here. Okay. Now, to do this, the, to do the second uh, exercise, which is again we're looking at uh, a, a long calculator uh, set of questions there. So to do this, you need to remember this. Uh, triangle and in this triangle here it's a right angle triangle by the way and that's one and that's root three and and that's two there now this angle here is 30 degrees okay and this angle here is 60 degrees Okay. Hope you remember all that from your GCSE and IGCSE. Right. So now we end up with this here. So the numerator will be half plus root 3 over 2 because one of our sine 30 is a half from here. Okay. And sine 60 will be uh, root 3 over 2. Okay. I hope all that's making some sense. Now, the twos in the denominator will all cancel out. So you end up with these here. Okay. So now, you get 1 plus root 3 divided by root 3 minus 1. Because this bit here, is this bit here and because we do not want any um, thirds or radicals as denominator 
in the denominator. So if you use the conjugate of root 3 minus 1, which is root 3 plus 1, you multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 3 plus 1, you end up with this term. So if you use the difference of two squares, a minus b into a plus b, a minus b into a plus b would be a squared minus b squared. Now, root 3 squared will give us 3, and 1 squared will give us 1. So 3 minus 1 gives us 2 there. So that's the numerator. And when you multiply 1 plus root 3 by 3 plus, sorry, 1 plus root 3 by 3 plus, sorry, root 3 plus 1, you end up with 3 plus 2 root 3 plus 1. And 3 plus 1 will give us 4. Okay? So you now end up with uh, 4 plus 2 root 3 divided by 2. Now the 2 will go into 4 twice, and this 2 will cancel out, give us 1. So now the answer we need is 2 plus root 3. Now can you check that 2 plus root 3 is a cotangent value for cos cot 15? Is cotangent value for 15 degrees. Okay, now for the third one, uh, we have this one. It says show that sine a minus sine 3a divided by sine squared a minus cos squared a is equal to 2 sine a. Okay, now for the numerator, we need this factor formula there. Okay, so now we end up with that one there. So we've got that 2 cos 2a minus sine a. Because don't forget that uh, a plus 3a is 4a. You have 4a get 2a. And a minus 3a will give us minus 2a. You have minus 2a get minus a. I get this one there. Okay? So, that's that one. Now, for the next line, now, this minus sign here is from there. Okay? Now, if we multiply the, the denominator by minus 1 and the denominator by minus 1, we end up with this there. With that 2 cos 2a sine a divided by cos squared a minus sine squared a. Because when you expand this bracket there, you end up with this one, you end up with cos squared a minus sine squared a. Okay? Now, but we know that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. So now we replace the denominator by uh, cos 2a. So we now end up with this there. That 2 cos 2a sine a divided by cos 2a. Now the cos 2a's will cancel out. So we end up with 2 sine a. And I hope all that made some sense. And please, please say, subscribe. And thank you for watching. And bye bye now. Bye bye.